Hey there. Let's talk about knife making books for a minute. This is a popular question that I see online a lot or uh, in forums and different places. People ask, what are some good knife making books? So I thought I would take a minute, go through my library of books and show you some of the ones that have been the most helpful to me over the years. So let's get right to it. The first book, I think it's the first book that I bought, and I bought this book in 1998 and poured over it for about six months before I really got started. And this book is called The $50 Knife Shop by Wayne Goddard. This is a book that was put together from a series of articles in Blade Magazine, I believe. And it starts with the assumption that you don't have any knife making experience and you don't have any knife making equipment and it shows you how to get started with a very reasonable budget and it also goes into uh, basic bladesmithing and stock removal techniques. It has some information in it about heat treating that we don't really follow as much anymore but you can use this book to both outfit a basic shop and get a knife made. There's great, great stuff in here, and it's got a lot of pictures and lots of information in there about all different kinds of parts of knife making, and it goes into uh, anvil-shaped objects that you can use and make. It goes into uh, hammers. It goes into drills. It goes into making your own belt, uh, belt grinders. Uh, just a lot of information in this book and I really really enjoyed it then and I've gone through and read it uh, since and I like it a lot. This is the revised edition so um, if you bought this book in the past they've changed some things up and all the pictures are in color now. So anyway Wayne Goddard's $50 Knife Shop. I really like that book especially for beginners. The next book is a book by Tim McCrate and it's called 10 Projects from a Master Craftsman Custom Knife Making. This book takes you through all of these different knife projects. This is a fantastic book for getting started with knife making because it introduces you in a small book to a ton of different kind of knife making concepts from uh, forging and a little bit of blacksmithing to uh, stock removal knives, uh, stacked leather handle knives, uh, antler, wood, uh, full tang, stick tang, uh, a survival knife, pocket knives, a little bit of sheath making. It's all in this book and it's set up as a step-by-step -step guide to walk you through each one of the projects. So this is kitchen paring knife. It goes through and shows you the steps to do that particular knife. So if you're just getting started, this would be a great, great book to walk through and do each one of these projects. By the time you get done with all 10, you will know a lot about knife making. So great book, Tim McCrate, Custom Knife Making. The next book I wanna talk about is How to Make Knives. This is Barney and Loveless, I think. Yeah, Richard Barney and Robert W. Loveless. There's also information in here uh, by or about Bill Morin. These are some of the giants in the industry when it comes to knife making. There's a lot of good material in here and um, some pretty neat pictures from these guys old shops, guys that aren't with us anymore, and uh, pictures of their process and how they did things. And so that's a great, great book too, How to Make Knives. If you're gonna make knives very, very long, you need to know about Handles and Guards, and there's no better book than Joe Kiesler's Handles and Guards book. I believe this is basically the curriculum for the Handles and Guards classes that Kiesler teaches in Arkansas. I think. If I'm wrong, let me know below. But this is a great book set up kind of in a textbook format with pictures and uh, all kinds of good instruction in it. And it walks you through uh, basic guards and handles to pretty advanced uh, spiral fluted handles that you might see on a uh, like a Master Smith project knife uh, or you know the double quillion dagger with the spiral handle. That's in this book, and I believe it also covers some wire inlay. So great, great, great book by another giant in the field, Joe Kiesler. This is not really a knife making book, but this is about um, leather work and hand stitching, which is, I think, the best way to make a, a sheath for a knife. So this is called The Art of Hand Sewing Leather. This is by Al Stolman. It's a pretty thin book, but it is slam packed with pictures and details on how to do all the different kinds of stitches and cuts and stamps when it comes to your leather work. 
It even has some information in the back on how to make some of the tools you might need to do that, like a stitching pony and some other stuff. So Art of Hand Sewing by Al Stolman. Great book. Here's another book that's kind of a comprehensive knife making uh, information book. It's by Jim Rasoulis, who is another phenomenal maker in the field. He's got several other books. I think he's got some other books on Damascus and specifically on sword making. But this is called The Complete Bladesmith, Forging Your Way to Perfection. This is much more about forging blades than stock removal and goes into all different kinds of information uh, about the forged blades. Uh, it goes into forging preforms so that when you hammer your bevels in, it doesn't banana on you um, or it bananas the right way. Heat treating information, grip materials, grip making, sharpening, leather work, scrimshaw, sword making, a little bit of sword making in there, and a whole chapter on Damascus. Another good book, The Complete Bladesmith by Jim Prisoulis. And uh, the final book that I wanted to talk about is not really a knife making how-to book, Knives and Knife Makers by Sid Latham. And I don't believe that this book is still in print anymore, but I found a, found a copy on eBay a while back, so I think you probably can too. Or if you look in the used book section on Amazon, you can probably find it. Uh, this is a great book, lots of pictures in there. Um, to just look at and, and compare your work to. If you look at the knives in this book, you get a really good idea of what makes a good knife, um, what makes a knife look good as far as lines of flow and uh, proportions and whatnot. This is a great book for that. Uh, again, uh, a whole lot of pictures, uh, some in color, a lot of them in black and white, but just a lot of really, really good detailed picks and shots to show you all different kinds of styles of knives and so it's a good place to get ideas and again to compare your work against the work of other makers um, so anyway th again that's not all the books that I've read or have on knife making those are just some of the ones that I have found to be the most useful I'll list all these books below and try to find links on where you can find them. If you've got suggestions on books that have been really helpful to you in knife making, please comment below and let me know. I'm always looking for uh, more and better books. If you have any questions about them, just shoot me a comment and I'll do my best to answer. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.